Hello everybody, I'm back with another guide. If my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm sick, so bear with me, but uh, this should still be a fun guide. So in my previous video, a lot of you mentioned that farming focus crystals is not the best way to make money on Theris Island. I thought we were having a little bit of a laugh and I was just showing you a little secret cave for fun. I see that you all really do want to know the best money making method on Theris Island and maybe in all of the cycle frontier. So today we're going to be going and trying out your su suggested method of collecting all of the pure Theris iron that we can and any extra Theris iron that we can fit in our bag is a bonus. I've selected five locations that I think are the best locations to get Theris iron. I've decided on these five locations because they have the least risk, the most iron, and are easily accessible. I'll put the names of the locations here up on the screen, and then I'll also show you the locations on the map where those five locations are. So I'm gonna hop into a match and we're going to test out to see how many of these you can possibly hit in one run and how fast we can do it. And more importantly, how much money will we make off of one of these runs? Oh, hey, look, we are actually right next to my number one location, which is Waterfall Room. A lot of times you'll spawn out here on the map on the back side of this uh, right side of the island. And all you need to go to is underneath the waterfall there's a little tunnel right here, <clears throat> and usually there's three or four iron spawns. Now remember, we are going to be looking for mostly the pure Theris iron, but in the meantime, while my bag's still not full, I'm going to just be picking up everything. Where was I? Oh yeah, picking up iron. All right, there should be one or two more spawns over here. Fortunately, there's a Jeff that guards it, so you will need to bring in a weapon that uh, allows you to kill monsters. To do this run effectively, it's not uh, it's not gonna work out as a naked run. Now, I will pick up any bone plates, just because you never really know when you're gonna need to get out, and I'd rather have a full bag. Next best location, Korolev Core Outpost. This is actually the location with the most iron in one spot of all the spots. And you could be tempted to have this be your number one location. However, the reason why I put this in the number two slot is actually because this spot is so sweaty. There are usually so many people here. Um, but as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight nodes here. So if you get over to this spot, you'll quickly fill up your bag. And in general, it is a pretty great spot to come to. We had some navigational issues, uh, mainly due to me uh, completely not figuring out how to get around the map for a second. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I'm sick and my brain's not working right now. Um, that's, that's my excuse. As you might be able to tell, this is a new run, so we're gonna go over and visit the other locations that we didn't see in the last run really quick. So the quickest way over to the Korolev Cory Cliff from over here is actually a really great spot. And I think what I realized last time is that trying to go to all of these locations in one run is a really bad idea. And you probably don't actually have the backpack space for all of the iron that you would get from all these locations. I think we got a little bit light on the iron this time, but usually a decent amount of iron here. And it's fairly off the beaten path. There's not a ton of other things that you really need to do by coming over here and it doesn't connect to much. My number four location is the Osiris Research Center Cave. But first I'm actually gonna go over to my number five location because it's closer. I don't wanna try and record a third video just in case we die on our way over to the Osiris one. And you can always grab a bit of, you know, focus crystals and stuff on your way around. Basically, your your main idea is to pick up whatever you can and get out fast. I want to reiterate with these uh, videos, 
Sometimes seeing how much money I can make from a certain area isn't actually the best way to play. Okay? And I know that. I'm not I'm not trying to mislead people. It's more of me trying to make a good video. So hopefully you understand that. Um but uh but maybe maybe your idea of a good video is showing people um the absolute best money making method so um that's kind of what i'm trying to do with this one to meet you halfway and show you what may be a better money making method than my silly method before anyways so i call this area the core love cory cave as you can see it's just on the north side of core love cory as opposed to the west side of core love cory this place um is definitely a lot more of a thoroughfare than the other one so um i don't recommend it as highly uh, but it does have one, two, it's got several, several nodes on it. A pretty decent spot, if you ask me. All right, now the last place is over underneath the Osiris Research Center. We're gonna see if we can get over there real quick uh, without dying. Now, I feel like I'm gonna get somebody who watches this video and who says, but Jordan, uh, there's a ton of other places where you can go to get Ferris Iron. I'm definitely not disagree trying to disagree with y'all. I just think in my opinion, the top five locations uh, from the criteria that I mentioned earlier are the best locations to go. Yes, can you find iron in other places? Yes. Are there other places that have a good amount of iron? Yes. But are they as easy to, to get to and low risk of a spot? Maybe not. If you're already headed down to the forge, then yeah, there's like a bunch of other good deeper locations where you could get iron. Or like right here, usually I can find one or two iron spawns and since we're running past why not i'm definitely not saying only go to these locations and only pick up this iron base your iron adventures off of these hot spots i bet you could jump out of that window and make that cliff right there i'm not gonna find out right now but i bet you could all right so this this spot also has mobs so another kind of one of the criteria i guess i could say for these locations is not having as many creatures to kill is a good thing because the more creatures you have to kill the more likely it is that you're making noise the more likely it is that you're gonna be weak when you have to fight people somehow i'm getting hit by a invisible strider which is good so this is going to be one of the locations with more creatures, but this location does actually have a decent amount of iron, which I think is probably one of the reasons why it made the top five locations. So this cave system actually goes all the way down here. So if you do spawn over on the other side of the map, such as by Cave of Stars over here, you can actually follow the cliff line all the way under and then take the little bridge across. And instead of going up this ramp into Osiris, you can actually follow this around the outside and go all the way down here underneath. Let's see how much uh, iron we can get. That should be all of them. Uh, and then we have our evac just over here. So go hang out and wait for the storm. I'm imagining this run took us a little bit longer than it would normally take you since I'm trying to do record and talk and show you things. But really your your best bet on Ferris Island, go and hit up at least one or two of these top five iron locations and get out and just rinse and repeat. Because yeah, you don't want to really be caught in the storm. Not ideal. Cuts into your profits. Oh look, speedy water. And then it changes. Well, as you can see, the Ferris iron seems to be a little bit more valuable. I concede that you might make a little bit more money by going and farming the pure Theris iron as well as any other goodies you find along the way. Okay, I guess you guys win. 94,000 is pretty good for one run. Theris iron gets my stamp of approval as far as a money making method. You don't have to forge it. You can just take it out and sell it directly to your vendors. Level up your faction reputation. Get that ICA, um, 
what the hell is it called? The Kinetic Arbiter. And by the way, if there is any discussion that you'd like to have about this video, I know I do post my videos on Reddit sometimes, but please, I, I would appreciate it if you would leave your comments below the video on YouTube so that YouTube knows that people are interested in it and that they're talking about it, which will help a lot with the YouTube algorithm so that the content gets promoted to other people. Thank you very much for watching the video. And as always, if you liked it, consider subscribing. I'll be around with more content very soon. See ya.